Hi guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best diagnostic scan tools and scanners for Honda vehicles in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools that I would personally recommend given my 15 years experience in this field. Now I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment section below this video. These links will take you direct to the genuine products. Unfortunately, there are fakes, there are clones on the market which can cause your vehicle damage and it's really not worth going down that route so uh, please be sure to use the links and they will take you to the official and genuine products i'm going to start with the cheapest and work my way up to the most expensive generally the more expensive the product the more functionality it will have and give you but that's not to say that the cheapest tool on display here won't do a job for you just as well it all really depends on what your specific vehicle is your specific vehicle requirements and also your budget as well that plays a big part so we're going to start with the MHM version 1.0 kit. Um, it, it, it actually is really aimed at Mazda, Mitsubishi and Honda vehicles. Uh, so that's just an additional sort of few manufacturers that it will give you. Uh, but primarily this video is going to be about Honda vehicles. So if you have a, in your Honda, if you've got like, a, I don't know, a check engine light, an ABS, airbag light, transmission warning light, or you need to reset a service warning light, then this tool is perfect for your needs. It covers those main four systems plus one service addition, uh, which is the oil service reset or maintenance reset message. Uh, so that is a very good option. And if, you know, if, if that's all you need to do and that's all you need to get out of a tool, then you probably don't need to go any further and spend any more money on any of these tools because this tool will do the job just as well for you. But the next kit on the list is a bit more expensive and it does have a few more features. So this is the iCarsoft JP version 2.0 and this will cover all Japanese makes and models. So it's going to cover uh, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, uh, Nissan, Subaru and I might be missing something but those are the ones that spring to mind uh, Toyota as well so this is this will do everything that this kit will do but this offers a few more additional features such as electronic parking brake DPF deep diesel particulate filler regeneration and reset injector coating ABS brake bleeding electronic throttle reset steering angle sensor and new battery registration now it's important for me to say though that just because I've mentioned those particular functions and systems it doesn't necessarily mean that they work on all cars so what I would do is I'd, I'll put an email address in the description below this video and I'd highly recommend just sending those guys a quick email with the VIN number if possible to check whether this tool is going to be suitable for that vehicle for a specific function uh, but that's the iCarsoft JP version 2.0. We then move on to the iCarsoft CR Pro kit. This kit will do everything that all of these kits will do, but this does it for all regions. So it'll do all of your European manufacturers, it will do the American manufacturers and the Asian manufacturers. So let's say you've got a Honda vehicle um, in your family, but you also have a BMW or Mercedes or Audi or something like that, then this tool is going to be perfect for your needs. When going from a kit like these kits to this kit, you don't lose any functionality. This is the top high ICOS of tool at the moment. So this is packed full of the, the most features that it possibly can be, okay? So that's the iCarsoft CR Pro kit. And then we move on to the Autel MK808 kit. This is the top of the line uh, when it comes to DIYers. In fact, it's, it is more expensive. It's, it's, it's about double the price of this tool, uh, but it is packed full of feature, uh, features. In fact, it has 25 service options, including gear learning, suspension adaption, um, and relearning calibration and lots of other adaptions as well as everything that these tools cover as well uh, so this is generally aimed at i would say probably maybe um i don't know mobile mechanics small garages small workshops and even the diy if you can afford it to be honest with you um but it, it is at the top of the uh the, the budget or the price range so just be wary of that and which of these tools would I recommend? Well, I would go for the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit because I, give, I feel it gives the best value for money. It gives the most um, functions. It gives the most vehicle coverage and system coverage for a really, really good price. So that's definitely the tool that I would recommend. And um, yeah, go for that one if your budget would allow. But having said that, as I said earlier, you know, if all you need to do is reset an airbag light in your Honda, then you can get away with just going for the cheapest tool possible. That's absolutely fine. 
Uh, remember, the links to all of these kits are in the description below. Uh, please, please make sure you use those links because they will take you to the genuine and official products. Fakes and clones, they just cause nothing but trouble for people uh, and potentially damaging parts of your vehicle, which might cost thousands to replace. Um, I'll also put the email address in the description as I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If it has, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.